My name's Ben Cheston. This is Notch em and Watch em. Welcome back, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining how to take a tree down as if I'm talking to somebody that has no clue what we're doing. This video has been requested for quite some time. So let me go over some of the stuff we use to do the job. All right, so here's some of the ropes. This is called a zigzag. Uh, this is what I use to go up and down in the tree. It's like my lifeline. Um, this thing's called a pulley saver. This is what I tie into. It's just a device that we tie into. Um, so we're, we're lowering all the limbs down on ropes. And this is the rope. It's a stable braid, half inch. Samson makes it. And then uh, we run it through a pulley system. This is kind of a small one. Um, but this is the OmniBlock 1.5 that we use. And then um, my harness. Uh, monkey beaver monkey beaver brand super nice um, this is my harness and uh, here's the lanyard this goes around the tree these are steel core lanyards so they attach to my harness and go around the tree keeping me on the tree here's the spurs that we use to like climb up the tree you know we stab these into the bark and uh, that's how we get up the tree and then some of our PPE that we use these are the protos integral helmets and uh, we have communications on them it's Cena it's a motorcycle helmet uh, technology used to be able to talk to each other while we're up in the tree and um, and then I got these boots these are our pro climb boots and then the Breathe Flex um, Arbor Tech chainsaw pants just in case you hit your leg. And then we got the Dingo here. Well, it's not a Dingo, it's actually a Vermeer. But this is uh, a 725. So this is Dustin's. We use this to move things around. Then we got Ricardo, of course. Uh -huh. So anyway, this is the tree. Customer here contract us to get the job done. Take the tree down. It's uh it's dying, the tops are dying out. You can't see it, but the whole tree's dead. Um oh yeah, one last thing here. The porter wrap, which is a friction device that we use to lower the limbs. Um we wrap the rope around this. Uh, depending on how heavy the limb is will depend on how many wraps we do and then that way it doesn't burn the guy's hand uh, that's holding the rope or jerk him up in the tree so yeah it's you know it's not terrible it's actually going to be pretty fun uh, you can see it a little better from back here the top's dying out but normally what we do is we go up the tree you know we'll find a a decent spot to set our pulley the omni block or whatever other pulley we'll use and then we'll run the rope you know into the pulley and just methodically take the limbs down as we go so yeah i'll be going over what we're doing while we're doing it up there a little more than i normally do um normally i make these videos for novice climbers or old older climbers that want to watch it but i got a lot of requests to make a video that was for people that had no clue about any of this stuff oh yeah my chainsaws too so we got three different sizes here this is the one i take up the tree with me uh it's, it's small i think it weighs like seven pounds all of these are commercial grade saws um and then this small one this is kind of for the guys on the ground just kind of limbing stuff up same thing with this one this is the 500i uh I like using this in the tree when I'm cutting the wood down. It's got the wraparound handle. Um, I think this one, the 500 is like 1500 bucks. The 261, I think it was 700. And then the 201 just went up. It's like 850. So that really sucks if you drop it. If you drop it out of the tree like me, that really sucks. So anyway, that's sort of an overview of the stuff that we use. You know, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, 
leave something in the comments and i'll have a there'll be a link in the description for all this stuff if you guys are interested in in buying it and then uh, a small portion of that will go to me to help support the channel but anyway let me get going up this tree so we can get this show on the road definitely not a huge tree actually kind of small but it's got some limbs up there and it's dead it's kind of leaning toward the house so obviously she needs it to come down we got dustin here as always Absolutely love these these uh, Arbor Tech pants because they have so much padding on the knee. I'm always banging my knees. Do you bang your knees a lot, Dustin? No, I don't get on like you do. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Please get up in that tree. <laughs> See what I do for you viewers see what I do for you guys. Dustin's like, we could have been had the first limb cut by now if you wasn't messing with the video. Shoot, it's all good. We gotta we gotta show the people, man. So I wear two lanyards, so that way when I get to a limb, I can flip my second lanyard around the tree. Tighten it up, and then unclip this one. But a lot of guys only use one, just personal preference, I guess. They got hit by lightning, man. Got mushrooms growing out of it. Oh, this is gonna be smoke city, bud. It's a little messed up though, it is. It's a little bit sketchy. Oh yeah, she's she's dead, bud. Got hit by lightning, I think. We ain't got nothing huge to rig out anyway. It's all fairly small. So when we get to the top of the tree, we wanna look for two places. One, where we're gonna be tied in at, uh, where the zigzag's going. And then two, where our rigging line's going. So. It's definitely gonna be on this side because it'll put everything hanging right over there. Sometimes you can take and pitch a rope up, rope a limb, pitch a rope up to the next fork, rope a limb and work your way up the tree. But on a tree like this, it's just easier to go ahead and set your line and go back down. Hmm, I may actually do a redirect over here. Yeah, go grab that pink ring, bud. I forgot to bring that around. Man, what a beautiful day. I'm gonna cut this little limb, get it out of my way. the best I can tell you that's why I'm gonna redirect it I'll have my main rigging point up here 
and then redirect it. Whenever you redirect the rope, put it through a secondary rigging point, it strengthens the whole system. For the viewer. The pulley saver. Thuenbach or Thuenbacher or I can't think of the company's name. It's like a German sound. Um, this is the I think it's about $300 for this thing though which isn't cheap but it's worth it and you want to find a top that's decent enough to tie into but it's not going to worry you about it breaking I don't think we're good right there This is a mechanical Prusik, so it lets me down or up, kind of with ease. Oh. I'll just take the tail of this and wrap it around. Okay. All right, now that we got ourselves tied in, uh, figure out where we want this. With this pulley it's probably gonna go right down here somewhere got a couple of, one of these little ones so when you're choosing your rigging point you want to make sure we can rig all of that down also so this is good. Once I get some of that stuff out of the way, this will be fine. Let's get this one out of the way too. Take our Omni. It's, a lot of guys say in the directions, this thing says no negative rigging, but um, we've been negative rigging from it for quite a while. I, I can't understand. I think people are reading into the I think they're reading the fine print a little too close. But what do I know? Um, a lot of times if you're rigging big stuff though, you just use a bigger pulley is all. But nothing nothing that we're gonna rig today is gonna be over 100 pounds. Maybe 200 tops. And this thing's rated for thousands. Thousands. Tell me when you can touch it. Can you get it? Alrighty, so, we'll come on back down. Give, give me that pink ring. If you want, tie it on the end of the rigging line and pull it up. Cause I gotta, I gotta run it through it anyway. It's really not that, it's really not that bad of a setup. I don't even, halfway need this on here but I'm gonna put it on there just just for GP So what that does is it goes straight from here down to our friction device instead of curving. A lot of times it's a lot more pronounced. In this situation, it's not that bad, but I like just making a habit of it. Okay. I'll get it off. Yeah, yeah, I see it. 
Little suckers coming out for now. by the gas can look up anywhere near the deck all right i'm gonna pop cut it watch though not the whole thing i'm gonna i'm gonna do this one and then those To the viewer that doesn't know that's a pop cut and what we're doing is preventing it from peeling you know you make that little cut right there underneath come down I'm right, gonna go ahead and cut the other one Yeah. <laughs> 
also if you're trying to balance it out just right where you make it a little butt heavy a lot of times it'll come flying right out of there that should be perfect but you got to cut this right or it ain't gonna work you got to kind of do an undercut and an overcut sort of like a pop cut but you kind of want to do it in the direction that you're wanting the limb to go um yeah you're gonna want to put a little tension on this draw it down a little bit are you still there you still there all right I'm, once you get some tension on it let me know i'm gonna do, uh, start doing my little undercuts bottom watch that bush let him pull it around Dustin for you there you go yes uh beautiful that's how you get it out of the weeds oh the fun is about to begin my friend ready ready Freddy Reminds me of winter time, bud. Holy saver is so sweet, bro. Oh my God, that is so slick, dude. I mean, you wait, dude. Wait till you climb a tree next time. I'm gonna send you up with this thing. You're gonna be blown away. I'm gonna take this one, this little double or triple or whatever it is. All right. I would put one wrap. One wrap.
pretty. It's pretty. Alright, I'm gonna take this together. It'll be easier. Because this piece is kind of like not leaning right. Let her sing a little bit. If you can. Nice job, buddy. We ain't got much tree left. A little bit. Cut these little ones and let them flop. Some bitch leaning right back over top of me, dude. Unless I can get on the other side, I reckon. I'd probably just cut it and let it down in that field right there, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to rope this thing. Uh-uh. Yeah, because it's like leaning. It's kind of weird, you know? And then I'm gonna do like one, two, actually I'm gonna do one, two, three, and then that limb going out there, that'll be my last cut. I really, dude, I really like that way. I've, I've really been loving it. If you cut all them limbs off and then cut the top, you like this, you know? You get the whole top out of there and then you're roping from the big piece, you know? Yeah, so. Makes it feel safer too. 
Right. Let me get my little pulley out of the tree so I don't smash that. $300 apparatus. All right. You see what we're doing here? This piece, Dustin, it's going to come right over your head. Just this piece. I'm going to rope four pieces out of this top. Dustin's like, just cut the damn thing. Go ahead and pull it on up. Yeah. Alright. And you know, I could probably take it in one piece, but this thing's pretty this thing's pretty doughty up here, man. You know? Alright. Cool bud, cool man. I'm gonna cut my notch while I'm at it. Got my notch.
might as well get the other saw here in a second. Well, that's what I'm saying. I gotta, but I, I want my other saw, I think. Just tell them the 500. I need the uh, strap, though. It's in that box. Hey, I'm gonna tie a rope to it and come on down. All right, guys, so after we got the top out, we got the blocks off, now we can just throw the pole. Tie a rope to it, and I use this thing. This thing's called figure eight. And it's the way that I come out of the tree, repel out of the tree.
perfect little hinge there got it down we put this log here so it would minimize the rut in the yard so it worked out perfectly but look how uh look how bad this thing was man carpenter ants carpenter ants got in there Well, there you have it guys um i wasn't able to conclude the video on site we were you know we we're kind of in a hurry that day um but hopefully you guys enjoyed that i know we did and uh if you're new to the channel thanks for stopping by hit the like button and subscribe it really helps the channel if you don't know much about tree work um hopefully this video helped you guys out i know like Halfway through the takedown, I kind of forgot to continue to explain what I was doing. Um, sometimes I forget I even have a camera on my head. But um, So I got a question for you guys. This year, it's been super hot, and my camera does not like the heat. It cuts off, and it doesn't tell me when it cuts off. And I filmed like four or five projects and got all the footage except for there's key parts of the takedown that are not in there because the camera got cut off and i don't know if i should edit them anyway and publish them or just kind of throw them away and make shorts out of the footage i don't know so if you guys are watching please leave something in the comments and let me know what you think should i go through the time to edit the videos and then maybe just put a little you know lost footage because of the heat or or what so please answer me that question any other thing i wanted to communicate to you guys is don't take people that are in your life for granted because one day they're here and the next day they might be gone i've lost a lot of people in my lifetime and um i've been thinking a lot about this because my stepson blake uh he's been living down in georgia with his dad and he was one classroom away from the school shooting that happened several weeks ago. And I mean, it very well could have been him. And it's just kind of made me think more and more about the people that are in my life that I haven't talked to. And so, you know, if you haven't talked to people in a while and you have some stupid beef, forgive them. Whatever you got to do. Uh, but just don't take people in your life for granted. So anyway... That's just a little word from me. There's definitely more in store, but that's all I got for today. So we'll catch you guys on the next one.